Hello everybody once again, my name is Terrence Warren, CCMP, Cisco Tutor Guy, and this will be the policy-based routing lab for the CCMP route exam. So, with no further ado, let's get started. Alright, so once again stepping away from Packet Tracer because as I stated in the previous lab, uh, I could not find or create a Packet Tracer version of this lab, so what I did was found a website that had that used a different network simulator and created this lab. So we're going to step away from Packet Tracer and just utilize this network simulation to walk through the policy-based routing lab. So let's get started. <clears throat> so <clears throat> now I hope you're writing these commands down, <clears throat> but notice we have three routers and the cloud. All right, and this is how it's going to look on exam. So remember that you're starting from the border router. All right, so everything is going to be done in the border router. So we start. So we start by creating an access list. All right, so that's going to be access. List. And then by the number 101, we know that it's got to be an extended access list. Permit TCP any, any on port 80. All right, so then we go to the next line. And we create a route map. TBR for policy based routing. Permit 10. All right, and so our next line has to match our access list number. So that's what we write match IP. 101 because that's the uh, access list number for the IP address that we're, we created the rule for. All right, so the next line we're going to set IP to the next hop. So set IP to the next hop, and don't forget that dash, and the next hop IP address will be um, the ISP1 router, and that's the 10.101, or 10.1. One zero one dot one, and as you can see from the topology, ISP one the network from the serial port is ten dot one dot one zero one dot zero. So that's the network number. So obviously, the router will be ten dot one dot one zero one dot one. So we set the next hop to that IP address, and then we hit exit. Remember, we don't have to type it in this simulator. But on the exam, you have to type it. All right, so the next command, we're going to apply it to an interface. Interface, interface 0 slash 0. All right. IP policy route map PBR. And we're just reiterating. What we put, what we uh, typed in before. So that should be all the commands for this lab. So even though the route exam has more labs, the labs are shorter. They're about, I think the most is at six statements. So let's check and see if we did everything correct. And we did. So that does it for the PBR lab or the policy-based routing lab for the CCMP route exam. Hope you grasp the concepts. 
commit to memory these statements, write them down, memorize them, study them, redo this lab as many times as it takes until you're committing it to memory so that you don't have to look on your notes anymore. That will help you tremendously when you're taking the exams. So, uh, thanks again for watching. My name is Terrence Warren, CCMP, Cisco Tutor Guy. I'll see you in the next video.